Hi everyone, I'm Hagen with Minecraft Source, and today I'll be showing you how to sublimate onto a sweatshirt or a t-shirt, depending on, you know, what you want to do. So what you're gonna need for that is your t-shirt sweatshirt of choosing. Only caveat here is it has to be 50-50 of polyester and cotton, otherwise it will not work. It also has to be a lighter color. Next, what we're gonna need is our StarCraft 11 by 17 sublimation paper. You don't have to have the 11 by 17. I'm gonna use it just because I want my image a little bit bigger on my sweatshirt. You will also need a sublimation printer or a printer converted to sublimate. A heat press and Hottie's 20 millimeter heat tape. So now that we've got all of our things here, we can come over here and open our Sawgrass print manager. You might have a different kind of print manager. You're gonna go to open local file. I'm gonna scroll down here, go to here, and pick the image I want printed. For my printer specifically, my paper needs to go in face down. So the StarCraft sublimation paper, it says StarCraft sublimation paper on the back. So for me, that needs to be face up. So I can stick this back up in here, make sure it's all nice and good. This back out. Now I can come over here, make sure your substrate is polyester. Make sure you are mirrored paper, Trupix Classic. Color photographic, because Vivid is way too colorful. Go ahead and click print. So something good about sublimation paper is it doesn't take very long to dry after you print on it at all. So as soon as this comes out, we should be good to go over to our heat press. Ooh, this is gonna look interesting to say the least. <laughs> so you don't have to do this part, but I'm going to just because it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to tell where this is going. I'm gonna cut this up a little bit. All right, I think I am pretty much satisfied with this. Okay, now that we're here, we're gonna take our shirt or our sweatshirt, depending on whatever it is you're doing, put it down on here. So now I gotta make sure everything is lined up right. You're gonna want your heat press set to 400 degrees for 45 seconds. After you have your shirt or your sweatshirt lined up where you want it, you're gonna go ahead and pre-press it for a couple seconds to get any wrinkles or moisture out, Just two to three seconds, that should be plenty. Oh yeah, look at that nice flat. So whenever you're doing a shirt, you are going to need parchment paper to stick in between. That way your sublimation doesn't go all the way through the shirt and get on the back. But since my material is so thick, I won't be needing it. So we can grab our sublimation. So what you gotta do first is put this on here about three fingers down. Make sure everything is on there equal. Then you need the hotties 20 millimeter heat tape. And all you really wanna do is tape the corners down, just make sure it doesn't move. And you're not gonna use a heat resistant sheet at all for this. You gotta have heat directly onto it. And now time to go all the way. So it's gonna be light pressure, 400 degrees, 45 seconds. Five seconds, you can pull it off. It should be good to go. Oh, beautiful. All right, and now we should have our finished product. I'm actually very pleased with how this turned out. I'm pleased with it for the most part. Right around here, it's a little dark and that's what we call scorching. And in order to prevent that, you need to have a spray bottle of peroxide with you. And whenever you lift the heat press up from pressing it down for the full time, you spray the dark spots with peroxide and then you leave the heat over it, but don't press down again. It, you just kind of watch it and it should lighten up a whole lot. Yeah. One last thing before we go ahead and end this, whenever you print your image off, all of the white on your sublimation paper will not, will not actually sublimate onto your substrate. So say you have white in your image like this, as long as it's kind of an off white, then it should be perfectly fine. It'll show up just as white as it looks. Thank y'all so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Thank you very much.